Hey guys, it's Christine, also known as Ivy Winter. Thank you for joining me for another Wedding Wednesday. Today is gonna be a little bit of a mishmash. I'm gonna talk a little bit about where we're at, new things we got, as I usually do. And then I wanna talk a little bit about wedding etiquette stuff. And not wedding etiquette as in like, whether you're nice to a person or not, or like how you're supposed to like, I don't know, speak to people in general. More like weird wedding etiquette things that like, I kind of don't understand um because there's a lot of them and i feel like as you're planning your wedding and you're reading all this stuff and you're just like why but why like why is this the thing why do i need to be held to this etc cetera, etc cetera. anyway before i even get into that i want to show you really quickly some two cool new things that i got off etsy i'm really excited about both of them I don't know if you guys have seen, but in a lot of weddings, a lot of brides like to get a hanger for their dress, and sometimes it's just for them, sometimes it's for their whole party. It usually says Mrs. whatever they're going to be, so that they can take cute photos with it and all of that. I didn't like that idea. I wasn't a big fan. Um, it just was a little too uh, Pinteresty for me, and it just wasn't my style. If you guys know me, it's probably not a surprise that I didn't want that. However, I was browsing on Reddit, as I usually do when I look at wedding planning stuff, and I saw this really great idea, so this wasn't my idea, I stole it from somebody, so whoever posted that on Reddit, you are amazing. Um, and I went to this Etsy seller who does those hangers, and I said, hey, um, so I want a hanger, but are you okay with writing holy shit on it, instead of like a name? And the designer wrote back and said, F yeah, I'm okay with that. And I was like, okay, perfect. I picked the perfect person. So it came in and it's so amazing. Um, I'm sorry if it's hard to see because of the white behind me. Um, but it does in fact say, holy shit. And has the purple bow for our colors. It's a really nice hanger. I um, just have to be careful as you can see, it like hits a little so you don't want it to break. Um, but this is going to be amazing. I can't even wait for the professional photos of my beautiful wedding dress on a hanger that says this. And I feel like it is just so me because that's sort of how I feel about this whole wedding. Not in a bad way. You know, oh my God, this is happening. Like, you know, you think about getting married for a lot of your life and who is it gonna be to and like all of that. And like the fact that it's actually happening is just like, a crazy moment so I kind of wanted to embrace that in the photo with my um, dress and so now I am so so happy to use this I went from like no hangers to like this is the best idea ever then the next thing that I got is a garter so we're not doing a garter toss I don't like them I think they're creepy um, the history of garter tosses the short version is the removal of the garter meant to the parents that the wedding, the marriage was consummated. That's really creepy to me. So I didn't want to have anything to do with that tradition. I think it's weird. Doesn't mean that I can't wear my own garter for myself though. So I got this really cool one um, off of Etsy. Yes, it is a Triforce. Um, that is it, it's super simple, just has Triforce on it. That was me thing, that was like, I really want something on my garter that's like, I like or geeky or whatever. Um, Peter doesn't even know about it and he probably won't watch this video, so he probably still won't know about it. So I think he'll find that really funny. On top of that, invitations are done. Done as in addressed, filled, you know, envelopes filled out, closed, ready to get rolling. Um, I have a copy of mine here, like all of the pieces and how they ended up together. Got the actual invitation, the rehearsal dinner, um, the RSVP, and then the uh, envelope that goes with it. We had so many left over because annoyingly when you order um, invitations, you have to order in like certain numbers and like we needed a certain in-between number that just didn't work out. So now we have like, I don't know, 15, maybe 10 leftover invitations that were like, okay, maybe we can send it to Obama or Mickey Mouse or what, like we don't even know what to do with them. Speaking of invitations and all of that, I kind of want to talk about this weird wedding etiquette thing. I just don't get it. Certain things, not all things. Some things make sense to me. Um, 
Okay, so one big thing with invitations is when do you send them out? Etiquette says you're supposed to send them out six to eight weeks before the wedding so that people don't forget about your wedding and like toss your invitation to the side and whatever. First of all, I think if people like my family is forgetting that I'm getting married, that is freaking weird to me. Like, are they really just gonna be like, whatever? They've been hearing about this forever. They got to save the dates. Like, it shouldn't be a surprise. But anyway, six to eight weeks before a wedding, to me, that means that your RSVP is coming in like, what, two weeks before the wedding? That is super stressful. And my vendors need it at least four weeks before the wedding. So what we decided to do is we are gonna mail them two months before the RSVP date, not two months before the wedding. Apparently that is too far away, but I don't really care because that's what we're gonna do. That's what we think makes sense, give people two months to RSVP, and we need those RSVPs by that date, but everyone knows that people see RSVP dates as a mail-by date. By the way guys, that is not a mail-by date. That should be when it's actually in the hands of the couple. But anyway, assuming that most people think like, oh, I gotta throw this in the mailbox by this date, then I can give people like an extra few days leeway. Um, but yeah, there's a whole very weird thing and people argue about like when you're supposed to send out your invitations. I know people who have not done save the dates and sent out their invitations four months ahead of time because they never did a save the date. I know people who are doing destination weddings and sending them out five months ahead of time. I mean, for us, we have a lot of people traveling. We do have a lot of people flying in, about 50%, I'd say maybe 60%. So I wanna give them time to figure out their uh, hotel room and like all of that. So why wouldn't I wanna give them an invitation sooner? But anyway, it's one of those weird et wedding etiquette things that like I don't really get and I feel it's kind of old and I don't think we need to be paying attention to quite so strictly. On that note, another weird like wedding etiquette thing that I don't really get and I think this is just kind of um, ingrained. It's not really etiquette, it's more just like this weird socially ingrained thing is like not following up with vendors as in saying, okay, I booked a vendor and they said they're gonna reach out to me like seven weeks before the wedding and that's it. I shouldn't bother them, right? I don't wanna be a bother. I don't wanna come across like a bridezilla. I don't want to seem like I'm worried or nervous or nagging. I think that's really silly too. Like my dress is supposed to be coming in, um, they said five months, I ordered it April 1st, five months would be September 1st. Now, a lot of people's dresses come in early. A lot of people's dresses come in late. Sometimes bridal shops get an estimate of shipping. So what did I do? I shot an email off to my bridal shop the other day. Why? Because it doesn't matter. What are they gonna say to me except for no, we don't know anything yet, or maybe they're gonna say, oh yeah, actually we do have some information for you. I think it's totally okay to reach out to vendors and to like check in as long as you're being polite about it and you're not doing it like every two weeks. But you can also ask questions. Like I've shot my DJ a bunch of questions about like what we can do and if we can send them MP3s and like all this other stuff. You know, like I think you can check in. You can have a relationship with these people. So I think it's really weird when people feel awkward about like should I or shouldn't I? How does it make me come across and I have to be this patient, demure person because that's just the way it should be. Like, I don't know. I'm not saying you're coming across impatient. I think if you want to ask a question or check in, you totally can. Things that I don't get as like a hard and fast rule, and this might cause controversy, is I do not get the plus one's hard and fast rule. Apparently etiquette says that anybody, anybody who is possibly dating somebody, even if it's for two weeks, gets a plus one. And, Husbands and like longtime girlfriends, boyfriends are not a plus one. They're just part of the social group. Like you don't even count them as a plus one. Okay, first of all, roll my eyes to that. If two people are going, I see it as a plus one. I mean, obviously, unless I know the boyfriend, girlfriend, or husband and wife really well, then I'll see it as like, okay, my two friends are coming, but like, come on. All right, I get it. That's like all semantics right there. But also, our wedding, we're doing a rule where you have to have been living together or married or engaged. The only exception we have is one of my friends who has been with his girlfriend for, God, six or seven years, and they are both my friends anyway, and so we are inviting them both. But that is a rule that we had because we don't have like a butt ton of money, and somehow you gotta start cutting down on who you're allowing to go. And most of my friends have done their weddings the same way, and most people don't complain about that because I would say that most of the people who wouldn't then get a plus one that is dating someone probably only been dating them for 
six months, maybe a year. And if you're not living together and you're not like seemingly that serious, I don't know, maybe some people are in a year. Um, I'm sorry, but you're just not gonna get a plus one because we have to figure out a way to basically cut down on people. Otherwise we would have like a lot more people coming. But apparently that is against etiquette, that is rude, yada, yada, yada. I think that your wedding is your wedding. If you want your rules to be how your rules are for who gets invited and who doesn't get invited, you do you. If that upsets somebody, then find a way to definitely talk about it with them. But chances are you're doing it for, you know, savings as well. And I don't believe in like, well, if you can't have a lavish wedding, you just shouldn't have one at all. You should still be able to, you know, get married on a budget, have a budget wedding and do it the way that you want to. Don't listen to anybody else. Don't feel pressured to invite people that you don't know or like whatever. And just be very forward with like the rule that you're setting down so that people know there's no exceptions or like whatever. Like this is the rule of the land for everybody and you know, that's it. Um, anyway weird things to me that I don't really agree with. I think they're really old school. I think we need to get beyond that. And I think a lot of people just do, they just do what they want to do. But I feel like, again, when you go on these wedding forums and online and read bride.com and all of that, it's like so strict. And it's like, no, your wedding is your wedding. It's okay. It's, you can really do it however you want to do it. It's fine. Anyway, that's it for me and this week's Wedding Wednesday. Next week, I'm actually going to be doing a little DIY project on camera. We're gonna see how that's gonna go. Could be great, could be terrible. You guys will know either way. If you like this video, then like it. If you like me, then please subscribe. I put out Wedding Wednesday videos every Wednesday. Also put out vlogs and Disney videos. So check those out. Thank you for watching. Have a great rest of the day. Bye.